Kate Delorier and I live in Jackson Hole, Wyoming. And I'm a ski mountaineer, among other things, but that is probably my largest passion, any form of skiing, really. So most recently, that means that I've just completed my quest to travel around the world and climb and ski the Seven Summits. Inside of that, I've also had trips to Bolivia and been a competitor on the U.S. free skiing tour and really, like I said, any kind of form of skiing that I can do. When I decided to climb and ski the Seven Summits, I actually had no idea that I would be the first person and it had nothing to do with, with my decision whether I would be or wouldn't be. It was something that I just dreamt up and I thought, hey, I, you know, I did Denali last year and what's the chance that I could do the other six and is it even feasible? So I sat down that year in April of 2005 after winning my second consecutive year on the World Free Skiing Tour and I set about doing some research to see if all these mountains were actually even skiable. I figured if Dick climbed them then maybe I could climb them and ski them and that's how it started. So sometimes it is a spiritual moment. There are those moments you're like, wow, you start out super early in the morning and the sun comes up and you might see a climber way far on the horizon. I remember on Aconcagua in the distance and it was this incredibly beautiful silhouette and it was Christmas morning and that was like the best Christmas present. And then there's other times where you're like, oh my gosh, this is like more than 55 degrees. This is some of the most intense turns I've made in my life. And at that moment, that's, you better believe it, that's all you're thinking about. And, and then once you take your skis off and it's because you've run out of snow and you need to get out of there, then you're thinking about just keeping it together and where's the next source of water because you ran out three hours ago and you find yourself on your hands and knees, you know, sucking water out of the, out of the uh, stream that's running through the frozen penitentes so that you can have the energy to keep going and pack your camp up and get down that night. So, so things are always changing and it's kind of a metaphor for life. It, wasn't, it was a project for sure to climb and ski the Seven Summits, although I was aware that if at any one time along that journey it didn't feel like the right thing to be doing anymore, like if I was running into hardships and, and just the universe was conspiring against me instead of with me, I absolutely would have shelved the project because that's a big part of, of my belief system in that you just, if you're in the right place and doing what you are meant to be doing on this planet at that time, if it's making your heart sing, then then the universe really is, usually does conspire to help you. And, and if it's not, if things are consistently going sideways and not working in your favor, then it's time to sit quietly and figure out whether you're actually in the right place at the right time. You know, it was hard for me to, to break onto the free skiing tour without ever having had any experience competing skiing. And quite honestly, in 2004, when I competed for the first time, I was 34 years old and I won the overall world title. And, those were some odds really there to surmount, or people would perceive them as odds, you know, and they would, there were these perceptions of limitations thing that I really had to break through. And, and then I thought, well, geez, could I do it again? And so, and then I thought, well, geez, wouldn't it be nice to go out on top, you know? What, what if you don't win the second time? But then I realized that if, if everything was over for me and said and done, and I didn't go for it that second time, only because I wanted to go on top and I would wonder what if, then that was really lame. So I went for it again and, and I won definitively that second year and at that point I was 35 so I think that was probably one of the most difficult things for me. I'm looking to keep doing what I, whatever I love to do and it's still ski mountaineering for me. It was before I took on this Seven Summits project. It's, I think it's important to realize that this project was lasted for two years and it was an inside of an otherwise so far 15 year lifestyle choice to be able to travel around the world and climb and ski those mountains that you know that call to me and so I want to continue doing that I have a trip planned in in April in Alaska to do some ski mountaineering that I'm really excited about and a couple other projects between now and then in the Tetons in Wyoming my home turf and um, I'll just continue to, to drum those things up as they as they come to me and then in particular on a more personal path, maybe not more personal, but a different path in ski mountaineering is a nonprofit that I'm working on now, which I'm calling, it's called Pursue Balance. And uh, it's really an effort to help people tap into whatever it is that helps them pursue balance in their life. And for some people it's a physical pursuit, and obviously that's been important for me with my climbing and skiing and connection. But basically with Pursue Balance I want to be able to offer all this information and network with other existing organizations that 
feel similarly, so it's really kind of a, a clearinghouse for, for physical, spiritual, and environmental life and balance. And in, in addition to that, I'd like to offer grants to people and uh, funding that may help them empower themselves along these paths and uh, hopefully pay a little something back that's been given to me.